Okay, I've been asked by a lot of people basically Brusher. It's coming to Brusher season now. Uh, it's August, September time. It's the beginning of our Brusher season. So a lot of people have been asking me about a muscle man bait. Uh, it's one of the more popular ones here in the towel. Um, the reason being is basically this little bugger over here gives off a lot of smell in the water. And if you look over here, just you can actually see the brownish kind of flavor, if you want to call it there. It's got a very pungent smell to it. And I think that is more than likely what attracts the brusher to it. Um, brush have got a very good sense of smell, big eyes, strong body, strong tail. But the muscle man crab is what he definitely prefers. Out of all the crabs that you can use, this little bugger over here is most probably the best one out of all of them. He gets his name basically from those big talons that he's got and when he bites you, believe me, you will bleed. This thing is strong, he hides in the rocks and around the muscle beds and yo, that smell that you get from him is unbelievable, especially when he's alive. This one unfortunately is dead at the moment, but you can keep him alive in your fridge. So you go out at night, you can catch a muscle man, put him in a little lunch container, put him in the fridge and the next day he's still alive. Okay. What we require for the actual bait and the trace is 8 o, uh, which is 31 in kingfish uh, um, nylon, which is basically your hook snooting. For your sinker, 19 kilo, basically your pair sinker. Where you're fishing, and the reason we use lighter line is that the sinker trace will actually break off 9 times out of 10 because you, the, the um, Brusher, where you're looking for him is in that rolling white water, in amongst the rocks, on the mussel beds. That's where he's feeding. That's where the mussel man lives. That's where you're going to find the brusher. So if you do get a bite from a brusher, you want your sinker snooting to break off. You don't want it to get stuck in the rocks with your fish attached to it because he eventually will break the, the hook snooting off. So we use a very um, heavy hook snooting for it. To make the trace, basically, let's just do it. He has a hook snooting first. We make it about 800 long. The hook that we use is basically a hoodlum. This is a 6 o just to fit the actual size of the muscle man that we're using. If you get a bigger muscle man, obviously a bigger size hook. Brusher have got reasonably small mouths that they use for crunching purposes. So they'll come up crunch and inhale and take off. So the bite is a very distinct bite. You'll basically get pulled off your feet when the, the brusher bites. Okay. All we're going to do is a figure of eight knot and how we do it again is basically over your finger around one, two, three times. Put the line through. Open it up. There's your figure of eight. Keep your fingers in it, in that loop. Pull the knot tight, slide it down, pull as tight as you can. There we go. That's basically the finished knot. We just take our scissors, cut that off, and like I said, it's about 800 long, which is that length there, so I'm just going to cut that off. <coughs> I'm using a number three power swivel, that one over there. I like to keep my swivel is very small. Although it looks like a small swivel, the breaking strain on that swivel is 43 kilos. So let's just do that. Let's just attach him. And again, like I said, when you're looking for brasher, look for that water, the, the most horrendous looking water where you think nothing would live. Basically that rough, white, churning water. Not so much sand, but more rough white water. And that, that is a secret to him. Look where there's a lot of ledge and a lot of movement in the water. So basically, that there is the hook snooting part of it. Now what we're going to do is attach our sinker. And like I said before, preferably a pear sinker. So when the brusher takes off, the sinker goes with it. You can't use cones and stuff like that, because they do get stuck. And of course you want your bait to move around in the water. Okay, just a little 
heads up for this. Sometimes you do wind in and you haven't had a bite. To prevent it from getting stuck and broken off, what we do is we just take a side cutters, round nose, anything like that, and we just take the head of the sinker and we just round it off. And the reason being is when you tie your nylon, if the sinker hits against the rock, the nylon's not going to break off. Okay, so let me just show you how we do that. And again, it's the lighter line, 19 kilos. Again, it's just a figure of eight. And all we do is go around one, two, three times. Take your line through the R there, like that. Open up, there's your figure of eight. A little bit of lubrication. Slide the knot down. Pull tight. Cut off the tag end. And if you look there very closely, you can see the nylon is actually inside the groove. So when this sinker gets pulled or runs or hits against the rock, it doesn't damage the nylon. Okay, that's just a little heads up on saving a bit of lead every now and again. And that there you're going to make about 400 long. So this was 800, this is about 400. I'm just going to do a figure of eight once again. Two, three. Take it out, slide down. Pull that down to the bottom side. Now your main line is going to come and attach to the top part of that. Okay, so this is basically like an arm that's coming off of it. You see that? So main line or leader line, which I do recommend around 1 mil, at least 8 o, nothing less than 8 o, um, needs to be at least the thickness of this hook snooting or more. So that will go up, that will come up over here, and if this does get stuck in the, the rocks and that, at least this will break off, not your main line. Okay, your hook snooting. Okay, now. Let's just cut this so we can actually uh, show you how to bait up the actual bait. Using latex cotton and a bait needle. There's our muscle man crab. What we do is basically put the line through like that. We then find our muscle man crab. And the best way is to find at the bottom here, one of these legs and break one of them off. I'm going to break this one over here off, like that. I'm then going to insert the um, bait needle through it. And it should come out, if I do it properly, on the top. There we go. And here we go. Ah. We then push the knot through where we've just come through, and it's quite difficult because they are muscle man crabs for a reason. There he goes. Then we take these three or four legs over here, like so, like that. Take our uh, latex cotton and grab it together and we just go around like that. As you can see, it's all I'm doing, just tying up all the legs, all the way to the top, and break it off. So basically, that's what the bait looks like, par one leg, at the end of it. So there's the baiting up, that hook sits 
proudly against the actual shell on the top so there's nothing sticking out that looks um, yeah well there's nothing that the fish can actually see other than that actual muscle man itself and I'll tell you what the stuff is unbelievable Ooh. take our sinker then and like I showed you before we're just gonna attach the muscle man to our trace again pull tight slide it down cut off the tag end and there is our finished trace obviously like I said before the main line is going to be up the top here and there is our completed brusher trace with bait on it muscle man as you can see and that's basically how it sits you can throw it quite hard because that hook the way it is you can throw as hard as you actually want it's not going to do anything because the, that hooks actually lying against the actual crab you're not hooking it up you're just throwing it normally and remember brusher feed close they don't feed out in the deep or well, sometimes they do but 99 percent of the time they're feeding on the ledges in front of you yeah on the rocks right where you're fishing so a 30 meter cast is more than ample but look for that white turbulent water that is the most important thing about brusher fishing hold your rod put it in a pension pipe but it can be a bit of a waiting game unfortunately unless you know the brush are there or if you've seen them yeah put it in a pension pipe and fish for bronze beam in the meantime because brush of fishing can be very very difficult at the best of times um, it's very time consuming but when you do get the bite believe me you will know when it's a brusher because you will get pulled off of your feet and hold on tight guys tight drag is the only way to do it because it will cut you off if you do not there we go once again there's the completed trace muscle man fishing for brusher in the eastern cape they call it muscle cracker yeah we call them brusher so there's your muscle cracker bait okay